Good morning, children. Come, today we are going to learn a new grammar concept that is articles. Now see, what are articles? A and the. These three are known as articles. Now come, let's see where we can use a and an. We use a or an to identify a single noun. It may be a name of a place, animal or thing. Now we all know that there are 26 letters in our English alphabets, right? Now among those 26 letters, the letter A, E, I, O, U, these five friends together are called vowels. Now these vowels are having a common friend that is an. For example, an engine, an ink pot, an umbrella, an ant, an onion. Now here we can see that engine, ink pot, umbrella, and onion, these all words are starting with each vowel. So, to identify each word, we have used an, the article an. Now, we all know if we take out this A, E, I, O, U from our English alphabets, we are left with 21 letters and these 21 letters are known as consonants. They are B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, Z. These are consonants. Now, these consonants are having a common friend. Who is that friend? That is A. Now we will see some examples. How it is? For example, a tree, a hut, a lion, a goat, a butterfly. Here we can see all the words are starting with each consonant. So we have used to identify each word the article A. Now we will talk about the article the. The is called definite article. Example, I got an umbrella. The umbrella is big. Here we can see when we are talking again about that umbrella, we are using the article the. I have a pet dog. The dog plays with me. There is a rabbit. The rabbit is furry. Now some more about the article the. The is also used before names of things that are only one of their kind. For example, the sun shines in the sky. The Ganga is a holy river. The Taj Mahal is in Agra. Now it's time for some fun activity. Go to the kitchen, pick up some things and identify them using the articles A or N. For example, an egg, an orange, a basket. Okay. I hope you are now thorough with the lesson articles. So try to solve the given exercise. Thank you.